This small silver coin is one of the first to be issued during the reign of the Emperor Nero, and it's quite a remarkable type. On the front, we have two portraits. On the left-hand side is the Emperor himself, Nero. On the right-hand side is his mother, the Empress Agrippina. The coin was issued in the first few months of Nero's reign in AD 54, and it illustrates very clearly the circumstances that accompanied Nero's succession. It illustrates the prominence of Agrippina during the early years of the reign of Nero. Agrippina had engineered the succession of her son, allegedly poisoning Claudius, and promoting Nero over Claudius's natural son, Britannicus. The coin seems to accord Agrippina remarkable prominence, and seems to present her as a co-ruler. In fact, it could be seen as going even further than that, because it's only Agrippina's name and titles that appear on the front of the coin, while Nero's are relegated to the back. But before we claim that this coin shows that Nero is in some sort of subordinate position to Agrippina, we perhaps ought to consider the circumstances under which it was produced. First of all, there's the question of Nero's legitimacy. Agrippina was a direct descendant of Augustus, unlike Claudius. And this made Nero a direct descendant of Augustus as well, unlike his rival for power, Claudius's son Britannicus. But while it celebrates Nero's legitimacy, what does it tell us about his relationship with his mother? Now, after all, his mother's name and titles appear on the front of the coin, and Nero's appear on the back. But perhaps we ought to look at these inscriptions a little bit more carefully. If we consider the inscription on the front first, it reads, Agrippina Augusta, wife of the divine Claudius, mother of Nero Caesar. And it's in the nominative case, which is the case that you would normally expect for a ruler. If we turn the coin over, we find an inscription that reads, For Nero Claudius Caesar Germanicus, son of the divine Claudius, holder of the tribunician power. So Nero's name is in the dative case. If you take the whole inscription as one, so going from the front of the coin onto the back of the coin, what we seem to get is something rather similar to the language of dedications. In other words, this is a coin that is produced for Nero, and it would seem to imply that Agrippina was the person who did the dedication. So it can't be a coin of Nero, it has to be a coin made for Nero, and that of course raises the question of who made it. Could it be that this coin was issued by Agrippina for her son Nero, or in commemoration, or in honour of her son Nero? If so, that would make it a really remarkable issue. A coinage produced by this powerful woman in honour of her son. However, we ought to also consider the fact that there's another authority also referred to on the coin. You can see on the coin an oak wreath by the reign of Nero, this was customarily awarded to emperors by the Senate. And inside the oak wreath is an abbreviation, XSC, which stands for By a Decree of the Senate. Now, we might think that the formula XSC here simply refers to the oak wreath, which was awarded, after all, by the Senate. But the fact that we find that same formula, XSC, on all the coins issued during the first ten years of Nero's reign, not all of which have an oak wreath on them, might suggest that the Senate had something to do with the issue of these coins. Even so, Agrippina's potential role here can't be ignored. It's possible, for example, that she provided the impetus for this extraordinary issue of coins, and that XSC here simply means that the Senate ratified the decision to produce them. But this coin was very much a product of the particular political circumstances attendant on Nero's accession. The following year, 55, saw another issue with joint portraits, but this time Nero's name is on the front of the coin and Agrippina's on the back, and there's no indication that this is uh, a, a dedication by Nero to his mother Agrippina. After that, Agrippina disappears from the coinage entirely. 
Now Nero appears alone on the coins. Having rid himself of his rival Britannicus in 55 by poisoning, Nero no longer needed the legitimacy of Agrippina to secure his rule. Indeed, a few years after these coins were issued, Nero had his tiresome mother removed entirely by murdering her. <laughs>